All right, so we have some cherry, and we got walnut, and we got maple. We'll be cutting two inch strips on the table saw. I've already got my fence ready, so I'll send them through. Okay, now that we have our fence set, the two inches, we're gonna run our walnut, our maple, and our cherry the same, the same width. So they're all gonna be the same. Okay, now that we have our two inch strips, we're gonna be cutting on the chop saw. Make sure you have it set at 30 degree angle cut. So you'll get a cut like this. And you wanna measure the width of the cut and it, it is two and a quarter. You wanna put a stopper on the fence and then you wanna measure two and a quarter. So we'll bring the blade down. And there we go, two and a quarter. You, you want to practice on scrap wood first. I use pine because it's cheap. To make, to make your angle, your cuts. Because it, it could take a while to make a perfect diamond like this. But as you can see, I've got three more. I got two more, you put them together, and you get your shape, like that. Alright, when you're all set up, make sure you have some bags for your diamonds, diamond blocks, and I'm going to cut these now, all into diamonds. Okay, now that we have all our pieces, we're gonna need rubber bands and sandpaper. We got 60 grit and wood glue, Titan Bond too. I'm gonna sand the ends so they're nice and smooth, so it's a nice tight fit. Then you're gonna glue them together. You're gonna glue this end, this end, and then this right here. And then you'll put them together, the rubber, wrap them around with a rubber band, just like that. Now when the glue dries, you want to take the rubber bands off. Okay, this is the tricky part. We're going to be gluing 
these four pieces, these three pieces. We're gonna wrap these with rubber bands, just like this. And we're gonna have this four pieces, and this three pieces, and two pieces, and two pieces. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So we have 18 of these pieces all together. So that's what it's gonna look like. We're gonna glue all these pieces. Okay, so I used, I glued all my pieces together. Got the four, the three, the four, and then three, and then the two and two. As you can see, I got the rubber bands on them. And I, I glued them up, I glued the corners. These. Three. You can see, you want to see the glue squeeze out, and you put the rubber band on, so you know it, you know it's tight. You want to leave them on for about 10 minutes then we'll then we'll use our pipe clamps and we'll put it all together all as one piece okay so i have it all in one piece i used my pipe clamps i had some i grabbed some scrap wood and i i squared i went all the way around so i can get my my clamps nice and tight in the cracks. I had a little bit of trouble though. One piece I did not need that I had four. I needed only three at the bottom. So I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I wasn't thinking, but there it is. Now we'll wait for a day and we'll run it through the planer next. All right, now, I added one more row. You can add as many as you want and keep building as long as you let it sit for a day before you plane it. So now we're gonna unclamp this all and we're gonna, we're gonna plane it down next. Okay, before we, before we uh, plane this down, we're gonna, we're gonna cut the ends off with the bandsaw. I'm gonna cut all, all these off so it's squared. All right, now we're gonna run it through. All right, now that we ran our, our board through the planer, we're gonna cut our our width ends off with a chop saw. If you don't have a sliding chop saw, that, that'll go to, I believe this is 12 inches. That'll go to 12 inches. You can always use the bandsaw, like how I did the, the length, how I cut the length edges off. You can always use the bandsaw. Okay, so now that we got our board all squared up, we're gonna router. And I'm gonna use a table router. You can use a hand one. But I've got my table all set up, so I'm just going to run it through. And make sure you practice on scrap wood first. 
so you know what 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 cut you're gonna be making. And here here's the bit I'm gonna use. It's a one and one fourth shafter bit. It kind of makes it look like a diamond. You could use whatever you want. You could use a round over. Now that we have our our board routered up, we're gonna sand it down now. Okay, now that we have it all sanded down, we're gonna use some butcher block oil to protect it. Okay, thanks for watching. Peace out.